Look at this. It's snowing and the sun is shining. And I'm here to test the OV Track app and how to set GPS coordinates to images. Well, hi there. I'm Peter Forsgaard, an Olympus visionary from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start tracking our images and adding GPS coordinates to them, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell. And if you like this video, just hit that thumbs up also. And before you start tracking your GPS coordinates with your phone with the OI Track app, check that the time in your phone and in your camera is exactly the same. I made a video about how to connect your phone to your camera. That's the best way to sync the time. Okay, there are two ways of when, how to start your image tracking. You can either use the OA Track app o, or the OE Share app. And let's try the OE Share app first. And you can see it in the bottom there, you got a geotag. It opens up the image track app. Or you can open the image track app straight away and then you press, press start logging. And now you all set. But without further ado, let's go and make some images and track them with the GPS coordinates using OA Track app. All right, I start my journey from the Senate Square. As you can see, there's some snow on the ground. Not much, but as you can see, it's getting, it's getting winter. So winter is coming, or what, how do you say? It? Okay, this is a very, very cool place and very lively place and during summer, there's a lot of you know, happenings and, and things on the, on the square. And that's maybe the most photographed place or thing in, in Helsinki. You can see tons and tons of images. And it's always interesting to see if, you, if someone can find a way to photograph the cathedral in a different way than everybody else. Usually people are taking pictures from there. And there are, there are some tourists now, but not too many. As you can see, it's not, not the most beautiful weather, even though I don't like snow that much, but it's sometimes it's just, you know, the first first days of winter are usually fine. But then when you, you've been like four months of this kind of darkness, it's, it's getting into you. So spring is, spring is something really unique. Have you ever done that? Please tell me in the comments down below. back here at the Senate Square. I just take a small walk around downtown Helsinki and the camera that I used today was the EM1 Mark II with the 25mm f1.2 lens. It's getting a bit cold and it starts snowing a bit more. So let's go back to my office and see how to transfer the GPS data from my phone to camera. But the first thing you need to do is when you finished, let's see where's my phone, there it is. And uh, you need to turn it off. Just open up the OE Track app and turn it off and press stop and save. And then you're all set. And then you can name the log. Let's name it Vlog. And done. And then you press done. And there it is, there you can see October. There you can see it. But now, let's go back to my office. It's quite cold, so I'll have a cup of coffee while I do the rest of the video. The next thing you have to do is to transfer the recorded GPS data that you did with your OI Track app to your uh, files. Uh, let's see how that's done. First, we turn on the Wi-Fi and when your phone is connected to your camera you open up the OA track and then you see your log there and there you see the map this is the, the map that I used now it's starting to add 49 images and then set close and now all the images are geotagged 
Okay, now we have all the GPS data embedded into the files. And now the next thing you need to do is to transfer your images to your computer. And let's go and see how it looks in Lightroom. Here we have all the images in Lightroom. And what's important here is to see that over here you can see the GPS coordinates of your image. And this is the first image here that has, which is nothing special, these images, just to show how to do the, the GPS tracking. Okay, here you have, and there's another image, not very good. Maybe this one is a little better. And as you can see here, but what's really cool is that then I hit the map and here you can see all the images that I took today. Not too many, but here you have all the images that was taken. Here's the Senate Square where I started to walk. And when you click this, then it shows you all the images. And this is a great way of finding your images also. I use this all the time just because it's, it's one of the best ways to find images. If I want to find an image from my catalog of, in, in Lightroom, all the images that I took at the Senate Square. I just go to the root of my uh, catalog and click it and then click the map and it shows all the images that I took here. It doesn't matter where it is in my in my hardware. If it's imported into Lightroom, it will show them to you. And this is a very, very good way to track your images or mark them on the map when you're traveling. It's totally impossible to remember exact spots where the images were taken. This example was from my hometown Helsinki, so I, pro I would have known where I took these images. So I, I could have set the image onto the map by hand on Lightroom. And it's actually these images in the book was taken in another place and I wasn't tracking anymore. This one, this one was the last image that I tracked. But let's take uh, this image, for example and go to the map. I know exactly where I was, uh, where that spot is. You might have seen that on my live comp videos, the same place. Wait a minute, can I find it? There it is, on that area. And uh, let's go a little closer. And so this is another way, it's exactly right there. Let's go a little, let's see how close we can get. Yeah, it's exactly that one there. And I took the image about from there. And what I can do is I can just drag the image onto the map. And now, voila, as you can see, you have the GPS coordinates and it also tells you the place. And, and that's another way to do it. Okay, this was this week's video about OI Track app and how to embed GPS data to your files while making images with your Olympus camera. Hey, thanks for watching and bye for now. Very good coffee.